So Cobb LED strips have been around for a while now, and for projects that you don't need or want all the color, they are, in my opinion, the best option for creating a simple yet elegant feel to any room. For this tutorial, I want to show you just how easy it is to hook up and control these Cobb LED strips using an on-off switch, motion detection sensor, dimmer dial, Wi-Fi Bluetooth app, or any combination of the four. I'll be using a 24 volt 2.5 amp power supply to test out all three of these LED strips. I'll first start at the top. This strip is categorized as warm white with a temperature of 3000 K and has 504 LEDs per meter. Now many of these lights come with the barrel plug attachment already connected to the beginning, so it's as simple as plugging in the power supply. Now doing it this way, you won't be able to adjust the brightness, but depending on your use case, that may not be important to you. The middle section is going to work the same, however this is considered natural white with a 4000K temp and has 528 LEDs per meter. This strip, just like the first one, does have the ability to adjust the brightness which we'll cover shortly. The final section at the bottom is going to be a little unique because this one not only will let you adjust the brightness, it also allows for the temperature to be changed anywhere from 3000 to 6000K. And I will be going over how to control this one later on in the video. So let's say for your particular install you just want a simple on-off switch to use instead of constantly plugging and unplugging. You can buy something like this that at least for our top two strips you just connect to the beginning and then provide power. Next, and I would imagine for the vast majority of projects, you would at least like to be able to adjust the brightness. You can get this simple brightness dial that does just that. And this works just like the switch and can be installed in seconds. Now if you want to be able to adjust the brightness, but also like having a switch, you can combine the two and it works flawlessly since when it turns on it remembers where the settings were at right before it was turned off. Next, for a lot of installs, I can see where having the lights be motion activated would be very convenient. And fortunately this too is simple to add to your setup. To get the sensor added, I'm going to be cutting a total of four 18 gauge silicone wires and stripping the ends. The length of the wires will depend on where you plan on installing the sensor, but for this demo I'll keep everything pretty short. On the right side is your input, which will be connecting to our main power, and on the left is the output, which will be connected to our LED lights. Red will be my positive wires, and black will be my negative. And to make everything as easy as possible, you can get yourself a few male and female power plug connectors. Now this will be the one plugged into the power and where our input wires from the sensor will go. And the other one will get plugged into the LED strip and will be where the output wires from the sensor get attached. If you haven't used these adapters before, just plug the positive wire, which in my case is the red, into the plus slot and the negative, which is my black, into the other opening. And then just tighten the screw, which will secure the clamp over the inserted wire. So this particular sensor has the ability to adjust the length of time that it stays on for once it detects motion to either 1, 3, 5, 8, or 10 minutes. Now that everything's wired up, just plug it in and you can begin to test things out. And just like before, if you want to add, let's say, the ability to adjust the brightness, you can just plug in the dial and everything will work together with the sensor. Now the ability to adjust the brightness is what I picture myself using the most, so I ordered this other dimmer knob and even though it's not quite as easy to set up as the first one, I did end up liking it a lot more. This knob is just a lot smoother and easier to turn versus the dial on the other one. Now the setup process for this is pretty much identical to getting the motion sensor up and running, so I won't go over those steps again in detail.
And here you have the motion sensor combined with the dimmer knob. Up until this point, we've just gone over non-smart options, but if you're the type that wants to automate everything, it's very simple to convert any of these into smart LED strips. The controller I found that works best is from BTF Lighting. One side is your input where you connect it to the power, and the other side is where you plug your wires into from the LED strip. For the top two LED strips, you're going to use one of the power adapters with the red and black wire connected. Push down on the gray button at the bottom of the controller and insert the red wire. This is our voltage connection. Take the black wire and insert into the slot that is second from the top, and this is our negative connection. Now you can just insert the power into the input side of the controller. The controller should now be blinking red. Download and open up the Tuya Smart app and click the plus icon near the top right. It should automatically find the device and you can now go through the setup process. From here you can easily adjust the slider to change the brightness from your phone or tablet. Alright, so let's finally get to the bottom strip, and if you remember, this is the one that's a little different because we can control the brightness and the temperature of this light. It came with this connector piece, but I cut off the plastic part and stripped back all three wires. The bottom red wire is our voltage, just like the other strips have, but the white wire is our WW channel, and the yellow is for our CW channel. And I believe the WW stands for warm white, and the CW stands for cool white. The white wire is going to go into the second slot from the top, the yellow will be in the fourth, and the red will be in the sixth. So you can see here that we can now use the color wheel at the top to change between warm and cool white, as well as using the slider to adjust the brightness. The last thing I'll do now is quickly connect the brightness knob to the Wi-Fi controller so you can see how seamlessly it all works together. Now I know they do make Cobb LED strips that are RGB IC, but I'm holding off doing anything with them until A the price comes down and B they're available to buy on Amazon. So that about does it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and as always let me know if you have any questions at all.